Everyone, Siobhan here, Driving for Your Success. And today's topic is brought to you by the beauty of a conversation I had at a table of entrepreneurs that shocked me. And it shocked me because I have not been around a full table filled with a whole bunch of people worried and complaining and working on a perspective of lack and limitation. Now, these are very successful entrepreneurs in the seven, eight, and nine figure businesses. And the really fascinating thing that shocked me was pretty much all of their conversation about costs and cutting costs and and looking at their businesses was okay, i don't have enough that was the energy that they were importing and impacting the table with and i sat there and thought hmm well there are a couple ways to really turn this around and one of the ways was really to look at them with a conversation of what is this opportunity of lack and limitation that really needed to be elevated. And so maybe you're in a place of fear and worry and anxiety and tension and stress, and you're playing not to lose. These folks are playing not to lose. And they were asking questions that were in a very conversational term, supposedly, but they were asking for help about what wasn't working rather than what could work with what they were doing and what needed to be elevated. And truth of the matter is we found some pretty cool solutions at this table of how to elevate those conversations to something greater, more harmonious, more prosperous. And remember, it's never about a how, it's always about who can help me get there, who has the information, the connection, the conversation, the opportunity, the collaboration, etc., that can help me get there. That's the truth of anything that you want to look at and do to help elevate your next place in life. So are you playing not to lose? So if you ask yourself that question, generally you're going to get an answer of yes because we tend to play not to lose in big ways and we don't step into what our opportunities are. If you're spending more and somebody's helping you get to your higher and better goal, then what you need to do is look to play to win as opposed to not to lose. And even if you're playing to win by 1% more, you're going to thrive and achieve. And so reframe your questions rather than playing from not to lose, rather than, all right, I need some, and this could help me, and I could use some help with. And one of the things we do at SiobhanMoran.com is we help you play to win so that you're not always playing not to lose because you're looking to shrink, then you're playing not to lose. You're looking to get small and insignificant and hiding and stuck then you're playing not to lose. So let's take that for a moment and reframe that into what can you play toward? And one of the ways you can play toward that is to play toward more breath, more openness, more oxygenation, more yes invitations. A lot of people are saying to say more no's and it's more of the right yeses, not more of no's, more of the right yeses so that you can achieve more with less in a shorter amount of time. So my name is Siobhan Moran. Go to SiobhanMoran.com and let's play a new way and play to thrive and arrive and achieve. Go subscribe, find some cool things, check out the blog. We've got tons of resources there for you to really get ahead and play in a new way. See you soon.